Okay, so a quick, quick Philly cheesesteak with provolone, but my twist, my take. I'm adding, I'll show y'all. Let me just get this right, sorry. <laughs> Hold on, can you see? So, Circuses. <laughs> I'm Anyhow, onions, green peppers, uh, paninis is what I can find. I buttered it. I'll throw that after. I got some provolone. I like it with some Japanese mayo. Um, and then I've got La Morena pickle. These I bought these at Sabor Latino in uh, on Saint Laurent. Uh, Sabor Latino one. Yeah, it's, these are so good. morning I woke up and I thinly sliced um, a strip loin just put it with garlic powder salt and pepper that's it that's me the OO and we're good to go about a tablespoon it's hot I want it screaming hot that's the vegetables I'll get these soft for a bit. Add whatever you like. I'm using what I had in my fridge. So quarantine cooking. My daughter is eating this, so I won't add anything too spicy. The pickled jalapenos will be on mine. I fried a few fries to garnish. The, the steak is, is, is sliced so thin that, you know, I won't um, add it too early. Let's see you go for a bit. For breakfast my daughter and i woke up around oops uh 12 30. no i woke up earlier walked the dog a bit Xerxes. he's 11. <laughs> in the corner i don't think you can see him then because i'll just see about mess he's right there on the couch let's see if we can see him yeah <laughs> he's watching me <laughs> smells the food Oh, my daughter wanted to spend time with him a bit. We lost, we lost Zaya a year and a bit ago. And I got Xerxes in September and Avalon was born in January. So he's with her grandparents. He's very protective of me. Very protective of me. I need that somebody in. Long story. But anyways, he's good now. 11 years old, but he's got to go to the washroom every four hours. Okay, these look really good. I'm going to take these off and then put the beef in. I like a little bit of crunch, you know? I don't want these to be stewed down like they're going in a stew. Break it 
apart. I'm using this so that it won't be too noisy on the pan. So, for you guys. So I'm going to slowly break them apart. Not slowly, quickly. Because they're cooking already. That's all you need. Salt, pepper, garlic powder. If you want to put all-purpose seasoning, fine, but I wanted to taste like the steak and the peppers and the onions. Didn't want it too salty. Plus, probably has a bit of salt. So. There's no crumbs on the floor for you, babe. You're supposed to use like a hoagie roll, but I wasn't going out to the store. And I'm not making bread, sorry. In the uh, flat that I live in, I have a really small stove, so. No. Aya, sabrud. Aya, merda. Okay. Okay, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. Merda.
Yeah, and it was frozen. I just popped the, the steak out of the freezer. Be careful, know, know the pressure of your knife and I just shaved it thinly. And that was it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Within like three hours you have in breakfast, well, brunch, breakfast, whatever you want, you know. Woo! Perfect. So, okay, this one's mine. This one's mine. Turn this off. I'm gonna put a bit of Japanese mayo. Because I can and I want to. Oh, I don't have a big enough spatula, so let's see if I can. Oh man. I'll get it though. That's what I was able to get. Cheese. 